In this episode, Annie reviews Rob's high roller approach. Let's see what she thinks. I'm here in the holiday market. Lots of beautiful women doing some holiday shopping. I'm there are a lot of women usually at those. Hopefully this big Benjamin here can lay me some digits. Money is tight these days. Yeah, leopard print for guys. I don't know about that. I come in peace. Hello. How's it going? Oh, maybe it's going to work. Quite a glove you're rocking in. What are you looking at? I'm um, looking at these travel buddy things. It's like yeah, you might be kind of cute and quirky in a way. It's really soft. Feel it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I like that. I like it Well, too. listen, I'd love to buy that for you if you'd like. Um, no name. No introduction. No, it's it's, it's kind of awkward. It's, it's no big deal at all. Let me just, uh, here, sir, if you don't mind. This guy just, uh, is compensating for something. <laughs> yeah, it's no big deal. Maybe his parents gave it to him? Who knows? <laughs> well, um, how much? Yeah, I could buy you an He's giving him the brow. Well, there's like the... There's like the little dive bars right over He's kind of going out of order here. Yeah. Okay. Just jumping I, I, I right to the drink. I want yeah. to get yeah. better. Absolutely. I don't even know your name yet, so. I'm Rob. Really, yeah. Really, it's nice to meet really? you. Really, it's nice to meet yeah. you. I'll go charm you over coffee. So the big spender thing works, but only if she pays for the second date. I think money is attractive in the sense that it shows he's got some stability and success in his life. But to throw it out there, flashing it all over the holiday market, it just seems a little desperate and cheesy. If you're flashing the money, that means you're lacking something somewhere else, <laughs> I think. <laughs> so it's cool if you have money. Just don't flash it around. You might get robbed. Tell us, guys. Have you ever tried to impress a girl that just wasn't into it? Let us know.